Hi guys, welcome to the video. And today's topic of video is on about um, how batsmen should face fast bowling. And it came to my attention this because of the recent Ashes series and the rise of Joffre Archer and how he's bowling something like 97, 96 mile per hour ball bowls. And this article here asks the two great batsmen, Michael Vaughan and Jeffrey Boycott, how to face them. And it's interesting to what they say about it. So I'm going to actually take out a few extracts and tell you why it's so important, how it links to great sports performance on the whole and how I can help you. So one of the things is that Jeffrey, well, Michael Vaughan was asked is, is how can you prepare to face fast bowling? And it's one of the questions in this article. And he says, instinct is the key word. You have to let it take over. You can't pre-plan too much or choose areas of the ground you are trying to target. You have to instinctively stare at the ball and hope your talent and game takes over. When you start premeditating and look at areas to score, it is hard. So the big word is instinct is the word. Let it take over. So I want to just highlight those two words first. And I'm going to go to the next to Jeffrey Boycott. And when he was asked a similar question about how to face Joffre Archer fast bowling. And he says, to play fast bowling, you have to stay still as he delivers the, the ball because you don't know whether it is going short or full, or full. The ball has to travel half the length of the pitch before your brain, eye and brain can decide whether to play forward or back. If you predetermine playing forward and then it is short, leaping at your head, you are in a hard position to play it. Be still, then let your eye and brain decide if you play forward or back. Be still and Michael Vaughan say, instinct, be instinctive. Now they're saying basically the same thing. So what were they doing? It's like, and they're using the same words in premeditating and predetermined. So what batsmen try to do is actually anticipate where the ball is going to go before the, it's been bowled or bowled before they can actually physically anticipate or um, take on the actual bowl. They, they have to think when it's going to happen. Now, why do they do that? They predetermine and premeditate because of fear. There's also the fear, the pressure that they want to do well, but there's fear. There's a 90 plus mile per hour ball coming at them. So when fear hits them, the, the body starts to go to go into that fight or flight state of saying, I have to do something. And when it says goes into that fight or flight state, I have to do something, it tries to predetermine or premeditate where the ball is going to go. And when that happens, when you're in that fight or flight state, that fearful state, then you're not, you cannot be instinctive. Instinctive is basically allowing it to take over. And he basically says, allow your talent to take over, allow it to do it. So to be instinctive, you've got to be in the present moment and calm and not predetermining, not thinking about the future. And, you know, seeing the fear, but not getting drawn in by the fear. And be in the present moment so you can anticipate. Jeffrey Boycott says, be still. Now he, he means physically be still. That's what he says. But in also, he doesn't mean says you can't predetermine. So your mind has to be still at the same time. It has to be in the present moment. So you have to be calm. You cannot be still or be instinctive if you're predetermining or premeditating the ball. And you cannot be instinctive and be still in a fight or flight fearful state. So that's a major aspect of what we're talking about here. And it, it's, it's what makes great sports performance. And it's what made any of the sports performance that we remember that were great sports performance. These athletes were going through that state of being instinctive and being instinctive and being still is a big aspect of great sports performance that you can instill in your in your playing, whether you're a cricket player, whether an athlete, football player, be instinctive is one of those major things. But you have to train your body to be instinctive. You have to. The basic aspect is that in life, we predetermine life. We premeditate life. We are in a state of actually, I've got to do something. I've got to do something to uh, earn money. I've got to do something to prevent this from happening. We're constantly in this fight or flight state to fix problems and not in that instinctive state. And that's why it's hard, even for the best batsman facing Joffre Archer, why they find it tough. Now, it is the toughest thing to actually face a fast bowler. I don't do it. That's why I'm, out, I'm looking at articles from people who have done it and what they do. And what, and what they're basically doing, saying is the same thing. You, your mind has to be still. You have to be in the present moment so you can allow your instinct, your technique to take over. Another aspect of it 
is the new fight or flight state and fearful state. You're not flexible enough to deal with the situation in front of you because you're not, you're thinking about the future. When you're fearful, you're thinking about the future of what's going to, uh, of impending threat coming towards you. So when you're impending threat, your body tightens. You're less flexible to deal with the situation. So when you're less flexible, you're not going to act instinctively to deal with the situation. And you're going to be limited. And that's what most athletes go through nowadays is they limit themselves by being this fight or flight state due to life, due to phones, due to pressures, due to all those kind of things. We're very less in this. We're more and more in this fight or flight state, less in a relaxed parasympathetic state that you need to be. To be instinctive, you need to be in that parasympathetic relaxed state. Tough thing when you've got impending 90 plus mile per hour ball coming at you. But that's what these guys say is the way to deal with it. And you've got to listen to them as well when it happens. So why is this so important? And obviously, when we're talking about this great thing in terms of sports performance, be instinctive. This is what we're looking for. And what I do in terms of muscle activation, um, in terms of what I apply with Be Activated, which is a muscle activation method, is I teach the body to be instinctive. I teach you to be instinctive, how to get into that instinctive state. What does it mean to be instinctive? And I use a muscle activation method that puts the body in that parasympathetic state. When it's in that state, inside the session, I can demonstrate how the body changes, how muscles just switch on. There's more synergy when you're actually in an instinctive state. And in, another word for being instinctive is being in the flow. And we all know if you're an athlete, you'll remember that time when you performed well, whatever sport you did, and you, you were instinctive, you were in the flow, it just was easy for you. And that was the reason is because you were applying the kind of parasympathetic state, you were confident, and you weren't living in a state of fear. So when I, what I use in Be Activated is that kind of bringing the body into that relaxed state. That's what being instinctive is. That's where you need how you be instinctive is being in that relaxed state. So if you live in Somerset, you live in Taunton, get in touch with me by email, andy at thegreatathletenexus.com or go to my, my uh, website, thegreatathletenexus.com or if you're watching this on social media, DM me. Whatever the case, if you live near Taunton, in around Taunton or you live in Somerset, give me a call, book in a session with me because we, I can actually upgrade your sports performance to making sure that you help you being instinctive, being still really important messages from the greats of the game. And that's how and why we should probably be prioritizing it. So hope that video was helpful. If you don't live near me, just use whatever you can to get yourself into the present moment. Certain, certain self-development books help. In terms of actually breathing is a massive thing. So go and watch my video on breathing. That's gonna help you actually stay in that present moment to actually help you handle the fears that are coming towards you. But uh, for me, thanks for watching. If you could like the video, I would appreciate it. If you could share the video, I would appreciate that more. And just wishes me to say, uh, enjoy the weekend.